Okay, this is kind of a long one, and I'm going to try to not make it really, really ridiculously long. And I also don't really remember all the details, so I'll be referring to the book a lot. But I'm going to try, because it's kind of fun, and Loki and Thor go off together, so it's, yeah, it's kind of fun. So anyway, um, Thor up and decides one day that he's going off to this place called Utgard where there are giants. It's like a big hall where a bunch of giants live and he likes to kill giants so he thought it would be fun to go off and do that. Um, and Loki's bored because Loki's always bored and he says that, you know, I'll go with you. You need somebody who with some wit and I'm that person. So Thor's like, all right, you're kind of a brat, but you can come. Um, so off they go together. Um, and they go down to Midgard and they find this farm. Um, and they are Oh, Thor's got that, I, I think you've probably seen it before, but he's got the chariot that's pulled by two, um, two goats. Um, two big goats. Why does my computer always make that noise? Um, and so they took that, and they were, they were off, and they were enjoying each other's company, and, but they were getting tired and, uh, hungry, so they came across this farm, and they asked, uh, the people there to take them in and, and let them stay the night and the people were like okay yeah that that's great um, you can stay here but we don't have any meat we'll make you what dinner we have but we're we don't have any any meat to serve you and Thor especially gets very hungry um, and wasn't too pleased to not have any meat well he's like well we can kill one of my goats and eat that, um, but don't, don't, uh, touch any of the bones. Leave the bones alone, um, and leave the skin alone. It's very important. Um, and so the farmer, there, it was a farmer and his wife and two kids. I think it was a girl and a boy. Mm-hmm. Um, and... They, they had been really hungry for a very long time, so they, they make this big meal, and the farmer and his children are overjoyed. Um, so, but the son, Thialfi, um, he is, he's been ravenous, and, uh, they and so he takes one of the bones and he's like, well, why? Why are we wasting the marrow and the bone? This is really good, and I'm starving. So he takes one of the bones and sneaks, sneaks um, the marrow out of it. He eats that, um, and thinks, you know, it's fine. Nobody's gonna notice. Um, so they stay and they have a great time. They they are good company and friendly people. And the next morning. Um, but the next morning, uh, Thor collects up all the bones and the skin, and he puts them in the skin, and he takes it out. Um, and, uh, or I guess he does that the night of. And then the next morning, he goes out, and the goat's there again, because his goats are magical. Um, but it's got a lame leg, because the marrow is gone, <laughs> um, because... And Thor is furious because he knows that somebody disobeyed him and after all, you know, he gave them all that meat and everything and now he's, now one of his goats is, he's okay, but he's like not as powerful as he was before. So Thor's furious and he thinks that you know, it's customary to kill everybody. Um, but Loki stops him because because the um, God, um, I'm really popular today apparently. Loki stops him and the and the farmers are begging him to stop and they say it's an accident and the Alfi comes forward and he's like, "It was me. Don't kill my whole family. I'm really really sorry. I was just I was hungry." Um, 
And Loki stops him and he's like, don't. They, they let us stay here. Um, and Thor's like, alright, I won't kill you, but I want your son and your daughter. Uh, I'll keep them, them well, but they'll be my servants and, and that's kind of mean of him. But he did. So he took uh, Thialfi and Roskva as their daughter. Um, and he took care of them though, and they were actually kind of excited to be away from the farm and on an adventure. Um, so the four of them continued on their way, and the farmer and his wife were all sad, but the kids are kind of excited, and off they went. Um, so they found, let's see, they went walking around. Um, oh, and then these wolves came, they, so they started hearing wolves. Um, and they decide, and it was getting dark, and they, and rainy, and they decided that they needed to, um, find some kind of shelter. Uh, and they came, oh, I wish I could pause this thing so that I could get my facts straight, but I can't. Um, yeah, so they went into this big cave. It was huge. It was, like, as big as even Valhalla. It was huge. Um, so they went in there um, to hide from the wolves and to, uh, uh, to get out of the rain. Um, and... Oh, and then it started, the whole thing started to shake. And they thought it was an earthquake. Um, and so they, they went to start running out, so Loki's like, oh yeah, I don't want to be crushed, <laughs> um, to death, so let's go. Um, but as soon as they were about to leave, it stopped. It, it was completely stopped. Um, so, uh, yeah, so then they went to, they still wanted to leave, um, but they couldn't, they couldn't find their way out. They wound up going, because it was so big, they wound up going to, um, just a smaller room type area in there. Because they thought it would be a little bit, um, safer and they could guard it more easily because there was only a, there was a smaller entrance. It was very, very dark in there so they couldn't really see anything. And so, um, Thor said, well, if it, in case anybody decides to come in and attack us, at least I can guard it with this one small entrance. Um, so Loki and Thialfi and Roskva went, went in and went to sleep and Thor guarded the door. Um, and throughout the night there were like these weird muffled roaring sounds, um, but nothing came, nothing came to the entrance. Um, they were all kind of afraid, but it was too dark, they couldn't figure out where to go, um, and so they just stayed in there throughout the night. Um, and Thor went outside in the morning. Thor went outside um, to, to scope it out, and he discovered this huge, giant, well, it was a giant man, um, out there, uh, <clears throat> and uh, he wound up realizing that where they had been sleeping was I think they were like inside his ear or something. I don't remember exactly where they were, but they were like somewhere in this giant, and that's why it they the earth had been seemed to have been moving, and they had been hearing such weird sounds is because they were sleeping not in a cave, but inside a giant's ear. Um, so I'm gonna pick this up in a minute.